to the BTT Show. Today's topic is cyberbullying, and I'll be joined by psychologist Alfonso Davies and concerned parent Mike Hughes. So let's talk about cyberbullying, what it is, and how we can prevent it. So basically, cyberbullying is any uh, form of bullying that takes place online. Many would definitely consider this prolific amongst youth who have greater access to social media and have much higher usage rates. But in the same sense, it is very preventable. You can unplug yourself from the internet or learn to cope or manage with it. Well, I disagree. Cyberbullying is an issue that is just as detrimental as a fist to the face. It depresses our youth and cannot be dealt with. With just by unplugging, we need to connect to these people. Show them that there is a community that can support these kids. I'm a father of four. And I'm quite concerned with the increased in cyberbullying in their age range. So one of the things that's a bit of a discrepancy here is why you think it's not a good thing to unplug. How can one cyberbully if they aren't online, period? The detriments of using social media are there, and the necessities involved within it are limited. Why not stop using it if it's a detriment to you? and do more productive things within the real world. Unplugging a whole generation isn't that easy, Alfonso. You have to truly put it in the teen's perspective in order to understand. Sorry to cut you guys off here, but we have to continue. So, what are some key damages associated with being a victim of cyberbullying? Mike? It is a serious problem, Chris. Let me tell you why. Cyberbullying is an issue unmatched by anything else. In this of this generation, mass suicides, depression, and bad self-esteem are hurting our youths. Mass suicides? Although cyberbullying is new and fairly awful, a, a new and fairly awful modern manifestation of bullying, it is not a cause of suicide, says CBC. Pure and simple. Cyberbullying is something that's completely avoidable. Unplug yourself or deal with it. Well, thank you both for your answers. Shall we move on to the next question? Okay, so what is a step parents need to take in order to combat cyberbullying? I think parents really need to teach their children to unplug, to be able to feel free from an online world, and to be able to push their focus and their energy towards the real world. Unplugging makes no sense. Withdrawal symptoms would t- overtake your soul. How can you quit something that you're constantly using? Cold turkey methods sound, sound so illogical. How so? How can you be so absurd as to recommend staying online with no other logical method as to how to prevent it? <laughs> this is the only way to prevent cyberbullying, hands down. <laughs> Well, now that you hate to cut it off, but I want to hear more of what Alfonso has to say. Alfonso? The only logical way is to unplug completely. If you get off, nobody can interact, bully, or communicate with you. Now, regarding the concerns of it carrying beyond the virtual world, at this point, it is no longer cyberbullying. This is beyond my research. Stick to physical and verbal bullying basics that are known to many. Besides unplugging, some other methods of, um, of dealing with cyberbullying are looking for social support, looking for therapy, people that can help you. And in addition to that, um, seeking a safe place and learning to manage with put downs, insults, and stress that comes with using social media. I agree. Well, one, thing, one of the things that doesn't make sense is bullying basics. What are they? What are these? How do you claim yourself as an advocate when you clearly lack this knowledge? How could someone supposedly so qualified miss all this information not, and not know any methods to deal with bullying? These methods are... Whoa, guys, this argument is getting out of control. Alfonso has had some extremely valid and obvious points. Let's all calm down, summarize the key points in this debate. Overall, cyberbullying is a key issue in the technological age because of many of the damages it can potentially cause. It is a risk for many of our youth population. We need to combat 
this by educating our youth as well as our parents on the dangers, as well as the methods and ways we can prevent these dangers. Cyberbullying is much more prolific than statistics can prove, though Alfonso did have some fantastic and extremely relevant points, both sides had some flaws. This wraps up today's BTT show, here to educate high school students on the key issues in today's society. Thank you, Alfonso and Mike, for coming out on the show today. Thank you. Thanks for having me, uh, Chris. It's been great to be here. Uh, thank you. It was a great time. Yeah, Hope yeah, to have you back sometime soon. Thank you for having me, too.